The Japanese have overrun one of our observation posts and captured an entire platoon of troops. One of the officers there was working directly for Pacific Theater Command. If the enemy discovers his identity, they will show no restraint in finding out what he knows. We need him and the rest of the prisoners out there, but the POW camp is on an island fortress. You are to neutralize the prison's defenses and breach the cell block walls. The commando strike force will land on the beach. With your support, they will escort the POWs from the island. As Lieutenant Commander Callahan is still recovering from the wounds he received from your last mission, you are temporarily assigned command of Easy Squadron's four Corsairs. My target. Attacking the fighters! Fighter destroyed!
Target. Roger. Go after the bombers. Got it.
strike force. Watch out, there are mines in the channel ahead of you. It's our best route out of here, Quo. We need you to clear a path with your guns. The ace I fought over the Marshall Islands was Kazuma Yamashita. He was part of the infamous 13th Airborne Squadron who had led the attack on Pearl Harbor. These guys put the final bombs into the Arizona. These were the guys who killed Charlie. The 13th Airborne had the Jap Navy's best flyers, and they put them in their best planes. Callahan said I was lucky to be alive. He'd fought him before, and I was lucky it wasn't Shunagawa, their leader. He was the best flyer Callahan had ever seen, and he was racking up kills all over the Pacific. But I'd survived the fight and brought the Zero down in one piece. It was weird to fly, light as a feather and armed to the teeth. The plane was crated up and shipped back to the Naval Intelligence boys in San Diego. The guys we rescued from the POW camp had only been in there about a month, but they were in bad shape. They'd been starved and beaten by the Japs. Well, I got talking to one of them, a guy named Tom Stewart. Turns out that he was a pilot who'd been shot down and he was itching to fly again. Callahan found a place for him in one of the other wings of our squad. So ex-prisoner of war Tom Stewart got another chance to fly for his country. Callahan ran a tight squad, 
and before we knew it, we were brushing up on our torpedo runs and dive bombing for the battles ahead. Our attacks on the Marshall Islands only damaged the Japanese base at Taroa. Elsewhere, the fighting continued. The Japs dug themselves in and even had a few significant victories. They sank their first carrier, the Langley, and our biggest warship in the Far East, the cruiser Houston. So far, we hadn't managed to hit them back. We started to figure we'd be in the Pacific a lot longer than we originally thought. In April of 42, things were looking pretty bad. Morale was low, both in the Pacific and back home. One of our commanders came up with a daring plan to strike a blow at the Japanese. Not on some island somewhere, but right on their mainland. It was called the Doolittle Raid. Our grease monkeys modified a bunch of B-25s to take off from carriers, something they were never meant to do. They launched from the Hornet and bomb factories on the Japanese mainland. Didn't do a hell of a lot of damage, but it did show the Japs that we had a few tricks of our own. They were filling our breath on the back of their necks now. Some of the boys who flew the B-25s had to ditch in the ocean, but a few managed to crash land in China. Of the 80 crew, 71 made it back. We heard later that the Japs killed 250,000 Chinese just for helping our boys.